Sagittarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for Sagittarius. And for those who have Sagittarian placements, check your chart for your placements. As always, course watchers, you're welcome here. Keep in mind, as per Alexander Tarot, the energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. I may flip these messages as needed if necessary, but never force the reading, okay? So guys, um, you're going to be saying Alexander Tarot throughout the reading because there's fake channels such as, and I'm going to throw out the channel name and I haven't in a while, but one of them is called Accurate at AF. That's a fake channel. Wendy's Intuitive. That's a fake channel. Sun, Moon, Tarot, 1111 is a fake ass channel. All of those are fake tarot channels, okay? They have the cards already laid out. No one ever draws a single card. They're laid out. The voice is distorted because they stole the audio from other tarot readers and they changed the speed, they edited it up. Pay attention because you're listening to old ass mixed up messages and you guys are taking this seriously when it's actually all fake. All right? So be careful when you're, when you're tuning into tarot readers that you are listening and you are looking to see what's happening. And pay attention, just because somebody has thousands and thousands of subscribers doesn't mean they're legitimate. People can buy subscribers, guys. Another thing is you could take a channel that was something else and turn it into another, you know, um, another service. And there you have it. And then pay attention, if someone has thousands and thousands of, of subscribers, then they should have thousands and thousands of views per video. Be mindful. If they don't, that's the red flag. Pay attention, guys. Thank you to those who have been reporting these channels and reported to me that what was happening with me at the time. All right, so moving on. Let's get into it. Let's pull these messages for Sagittarius. It's not time specific. Anytime that you press play is a time for you to receive the messages. All right, show me the messages, please, for Sagittarius and love. Okay, wow. In a Sagittarian connection, there's some things going on. All right, something devastating happened here. You guys are definitely not together right now. Somebody felt betrayed by the other person. It was a rock bottom moment as per Alexander Tarot with his 10 of swords. Rock bottom moment. Like a lot of bad things were said to each other. There were curse words. Somebody was cursing out the other person for the most part or just, you know, expressing severe pain to their partner. And it was just like, this is it. It was a, it was a nasty breakup is what I'm getting with this 10 of swords. Okay. Um, very deep wounds. Some, somebody was hitting below the, the belt with the words for some of you with the high priestess reverse. Yeah. There's somebody that's lacking commitment here. Okay. You could be connected with the Taurus. Um, somebody's very untrustworthy. Somebody that you couldn't rely on or they couldn't rely on you. Somebody withdrew that's manipulative. Somebody was being very manipulative. Brought a lot of drama. Very emotionally immature. And they caused some sort of turbulent situation here. Okay, with this Ten of Swords being crowned by the strength in reverse, as I put it up to the camera, as per Alexander Tarot. <sighs> it's like someone here is very insecure. I, I'm, I'm hearing coward. Like this person projected their insecurities onto their person. But they them themselves feel like they're not enough. There's self-doubt here. This person doesn't fit. They feel inadequate. They don't feel like they're enough. This person lacks confidence, right? So you could be connecting with a Leo here. Show me more for the situation between Sagittarius and their person. The Ace of Pentacles wanted to come out. Okay, tell me one more. Okay, somebody definitely came into this as if they wanted to invest, like they were fully invested in this with the Ace of Pentacles hair. Okay, it didn't start off with with all of this nonsense. Somebody came in, invested. Somebody came in, showing up for their person, showing that they value their person, reciprocating. You know, just being generous and and supportive with the Six of Pentacles hair. But with this Six, I mean Five of Wands, there was some sort of some sort of drama disrupted. This, this it, it got to a point where there was a lot of arguing and a lot of tension between you and your person, okay? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Um, yeah, somebody came in with, with their emotions being very transparent. I feel like they even might have said that they loved their person early, very early on you know, came off very compassionate 
and very, like I said, very invest, very well invested, right? I got all the aces here, guys. Ace of pentacles, ace of cups on the table, and an ace of wands reversed. So somebody did, they came in with, with all of this energy, but when the ace of wands reversed, somebody was like, whoa. So somebody pulled back. And I feel like the, somebody who pulled back realized because they started arguing with their person, there was a lot of drama and conflict, and they were like, wait, maybe this is not the right connection, okay? Yeah, with the three of wands reversed. There's a lot of fire here. You can be connecting with an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody who has fire in their chart. But it got to a point where somebody started having regrets and they felt like there's no growth and expansion. Like, this can't grow. And there's no growth here because we're constantly fighting. There's constant drama, okay? You know, it's like somebody just having to, like, disagree. I'm getting, I'm getting, like, someone in this connection is committed to... um. What's the word I'm looking for? They're committed to misunderstanding their person is what I'm getting. The kind of that kind of energy. So it's like somebody flipped the script. Show me the the breakdown here. For some of you, this person, wow. I see you off on your own. One of the things that I found out that was a nail in the coffin is that somebody here it turned out that they were committed to someone else with the Ten of Pentacles, or some of them were even married to somebody else. With the page of cups reversed, this this is somebody that's manipulative and has their own traumas, and they showed up and played these games, and they they gave the illusion that illusion and that they were committed to this connection, but they weren't. So I see um, somebody here with the nine of pentacles standing off on their own, being abundant on their own, letting go of the the this issue the issues that they have with this person. That's why I say you two are not together. So I do see somebody here, like I said, very abundant. I don't know why I'm hearing elegance because the cars are not gender-based and usually that's something you would say to a woman, right? But somebody's very abundant, very, you know, materials, materially, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Material security, very secure financially, right? And on their own. Because the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's single. And with this, again, with the Four of Pentacles reversed, it's like this person was a bit out of control. And they had some sort of financial problems. And this person is somebody that you were like, damn, I need to let go of this person. They have some really deep-seated issues. So I do see you here on your own. But the issues stem from something in their childhood, right? Page of Cups reversed. Somebody who, who, who witnessed instability in their upbringing. They might have witnessed, like, um, divorce. You know, somebody leaving the family, somebody abandoning somebody, somebody ghosting the other parent or, you know, or being raised by somebody single who struggled or, you know, watched people, you know, whoever raised them, someone, their part come in and out, different, different partners come in and out, come and go in, no security, no stability. In spite of that, they came in as somebody that would be like your ideal partner, everything that you wanted, like mutual partner, mutual, wanting to meet, you know, your needs. I feel like if you told this person like what your needs and wants was, they tried to be that. But then things got, you know, got jacked up fairly quickly here. With the Queen of Pentacles reverse, I felt like this was very st stressful on you with the Nine of, of Swords here together. I feel like it was very intense because you neglected your own needs for this person. And you're like, damn, all the stuff that I did, I didn't even, I forgot about me. I didn't even focus on me. You you lacked certain things just so this person could feel fulfilled, which you shouldn't have done, but you're learning this. And now you just feel overwhelmed. You know, if you, reached, you, you have reached a breaking point with this person. I feel like crying and rage and all those kind of emotions. Tell me more for the breakdown here. What's the breakdown here between Sag and their person? This person had a lot of secrets. Is what I'm getting. This person that you were with. They were out of control. This person just did whatever the hell they wanted to do. Again, they did like a 180, I feel like this person did with you. They came in as something very charming, very loving, and then they turned into a nightmare. You could be connecting with the Cancer. Um, I'm also getting Pisces energy. This person, like, they stopped communicating effectively. You know, I get, I feel like they got to a point where the mask was off. 
and they just was like, fuck it. And then, you know, they, they intentionally confused you. They would gaslight you. They would stonewall you if you asked certain questions about the connection. Um, even with the high priestess reverse, I feel like you felt silenced and powerless when it came to this person. And with the chariot here, because this person intentionally manipulated you into silence and confusion. Again, that's gaslighting. The energy that I'm getting, I'm going to put this here in a moment, the Knight of Swords reverse right here. But with the Ace of Swords reverse on the table next to the to chariot reverse and the high priestess reverse, this person was intentionally gaslighting you. Okay, you were feeling out of control yourself in your head. You were feeling powerless. You were feeling silenced. You didn't trust yourself because this person really manip manipulated your mind with this Ace of Swords reverse. And you were very confused. Like, what just happened? I feel like if you address this person with an issue, you were left confused when the conversation was over. Like, what happened here? With the Knight of Swords reverse. This is somebody that was very hurtful and arrogant. Like, I'm telling you, this person turned out to be a nightmare. They were in and out, too. I feel like they came and got, went as they pleased. Um, and they just brought a lot of pain in their, in their, in their um, path to you. Five of Cups at the camera. It was emotional loss because you was invested in this. But this person was a narcissist. Show me... Um, Wow, this Queen of Swords reverse. Wow, this says a lot. And this just came out before I can even ask the question. Queen of Swords reverse at the camera as Pallas and the Tarot. I'm also getting a lot of sword energy. You could be connecting with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But this Queen of Swords reverse is telling me for some of you, it's your person. They were raised with someone who was a bit cold towards them. And I feel like it's because of all the pain that they experienced in their relationships or lack thereof. And I feel like... You witnessed that. It could be a, a, a mother. It could be um, the cards are not gender based, so it can be every any parent or anybody who raised you. It could be also it could be a man. It could be a non-binary. It could be a it could be a grandmother or you know an aunt. But whoever this person was, they experienced a lot of pain. But they didn't deal with their pain either. They just suppressed it. And I feel like with this person, they would put your person down. They were so bitter. They would say mean things to your person. Like, just like criticize anything they said or did. They were very cold towards them. And I feel like your person could have experienced some sort of hate towards that gender. If it's a woman, take it as it resonates. Um, because of this person. And didn't realize that. So it's like they desire stability and love. But then once they remember the pain, they pull back and they start acting up. Yeah, look at that. Page of Swords reversed at the camera, Alice Powell's and Tarot. This is somebody who plays mind games. This is somebody, and this is this can also be this Queen of Swords reverse energy. Somebody who was insulted. I feel like your person was insulted. Like they would put your person down. And this person talked about everybody. They were draining. I get the energy of exhaustion. Like this person was so draining because they they literally used your person as an emotional punching bag. They were very sarcastic to them too. So that's what your person had to experience. That's the trauma they have not ended for. And with the moon at the camera, as Pals and Atara with the Pisces, you're not aware of this. This is something that's hidden that you're not aware of. And at this at this reading, you're just finding out that this person had went through these kind of things. And at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles reverse is why this person is so reckless. They promise you a lot, but they don't deliver. They don't they they don't live up to the standard that they came in with, it's just like, is this a game? They gave you an illusion of a relationship with the moon. It's very deceptive. Show me um, Sagittarius's feelings for this person, please. You're still kind of connecting to this person. I see you abundant financially, as Belzana Toro with the Nine of Pentacles at the camera. You're very abundant. You want this person, but you don't need this person. You are stable financially. However, with the Eight of Cups reverse here, I feel like there's a stagnancy. You're staying in a bad situation. Like I feel like you haven't completely let this person go and you recognize that they're probably going to return. The Eight of Cups reverse, somebody returning. 
Yeah, the six of swords reverse. Yeah, um, you can't move forward from this. You're having a hard time moving forward. Okay, so even though this person did something so bad, and again, this is a collective, so it's different for each and every one of you, but it was so bad that you thought it, you said it was over. It's like you haven't really moved on. I'm getting slow healing, like kind of looking back and being receptive to this person coming back. Like you cannot move on from this person. For some reason, you feel like you're vulnerable. This person manipulated you and now you are vulnerable and you kind of know that this person is going to return and you know that this is like this would be a bad decision for you to stay in this connection all right show me more please for Sagittarius's feelings in regards to this connection yeah the king of pentacles reverse you know that this person is unstable and that they're reckless and they make they even make poor financial decisions they have some money problems so you kind of feel sorry for this person some of you were giving this person money. Why is this hermit reverse here for your feelings? You, 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 you know what it is about you, Sagittarius? You feel like you can change things. Like you want to be the savior. The empath is what I'm getting, okay? And that's what draws, that's what um draws in um narcissists they're drawn to empaths and with the hermit reverse you're like oh this person has been it's so sad and lonely and this person is just they're just afraid you know this person might have explained to you how hard it is for them um how hard it i don't even think they did tell you any of this because i said with the moon that it's hidden but you're making excuses for this person and you're trying to figure out why well, may this person may have a reason to be the way they are This person might not have any siblings or might have told you that they didn't have much family around them growing up, something like that. And and you're thinking to yourself, oh, it's just fear. It's just fear that's keeping this person from coming forward. With the temperaments, you you, you want to find a solution. Like, yo, you, 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 you still, there's still a part of you that desires, in spite of the fact that this person literally had a rock bottom moment with you and there was some bad things said you still feel like you want to find solutions to this problem like you you feel like with patience and taking things like taking things slow you and if their person is willing to be receptive that this can work temperament is your energy sagittarius like show me more for sagittarius's feelings yeah the justice you feel like if this person is is willing to be accountable for their behavior you guys can you know come back together and i'm telling you you're in denial because I got this how reverse at the camera and um you're resisting change out of your own out of your own fear of pain you're resisting transformation what's going to happen is you're just delaying something worse happening by staying in this situation cuz the tower moment already happened okay there was already a disaster that's why it's ten of swords is here but it's like you're still trying to stay even at that tower moment and it's just like no, it's trying to rebuild your own life without this person. At the bottom of the deck and at the camera, I have the Six of Wands reverse. This is a defeating situation. You can't save this person, and it's not your job to. Okay? It's not your job to save this person. You cannot take that on. You should not take that on. You could be connecting with an Aries or a Libra. Show me the challenges when it comes to this connection for Sagittarius, please. Here's Sagittarius. Is your challenge is to let this person go, to free yourself from this, to, to, to see yourself as a survivor, regain your awareness and release this person because there's a self-limiting belief here. Because with the seven of cups here, it's wishful thinking. It's wishful thinking. Spirit is like, your challenge is to see that this is wishful thinking, to think that this person is going to choose you with all the shit that they got going on. No offense, that has nothing to do with you and who you are. This person just is carrying a lot, is dealing with a lot, okay? So the challenge is for you to see that you need to release this person. The world is here at the bottom of the deck and at the camera. A whole new cycle is waiting for you, a whole new cycle. Like, fulfillment, happiness, but it's in leaving this alone, freeing, it, freeing yourself from this connection is going to allow you to have true fulfillment and happiness, okay? 
Cause look at look at this nine hundred ones. He brought at the camera. This person is this person is just playing around with you. They pick you up when they want to. They put you down when they want to. They've been playing from the beginning because, like I said, I feel like this is the type of person that asked you a lot of questions in the beginning because they wanted to become who they felt you wanted. It's a game. Show me advice, folks. Sagittarius, please. What advice do we have? Yeah, this person is very immature. They have some things in the past that they haven't dealt with, okay? And, you know, I'm not telling you anything that, you know, I am, actually, I am telling you some things because I'm telling you that this person is definitely keeping things from you. Tell me more. But, there, but deception has already been revealed when it comes to this person. For some of you, this person pretty much revealed, like they, you found out this person was seeing someone else. They were juggling you and somebody else. And they, it's out. It's exposed. Okay? This, this person might even ask for your forgiveness about this. In that, in that moment, where it turned into this big ten of swords moment at the camera, right? There's something that came out. For some of you, this person didn't even confess it to you. You found out that they were seeing you and somebody else. All right? So Spirit is like, what is there to hold on to? All right, show me more advice. The lovers is here. Why is the lovers here? The devil is here too. Clarify the devil and the lovers, please. Queen of Cups. Wow, the death reverse came out too. You're resisting change. You can either go towards the lovers, somebody who's made for you, or you can stay in this toxic situation with this person. Like this person is gonna keep coming back. You're gonna keep having the same cycle of this person hurting you and coming back to love on you and hurt you again, to love on you and hurt you again. And when I say love on you, it doesn't mean love you. It means love on you. Like this person is sleeping with you, taking what they can take from you, and then sabotaging again. Just totally disrespecting the connection. And why? Because you're sitting here as the Queen of Cups. Very nurturing, very loving, you know, very empathetic. The Queen of Cups is an empath. So this 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 devil here, this is the narcissist. This is someone who makes you feel powerless and stuck in this negative cycle. Meanwhile, the lovers is here. Clarify the lovers, please. The reason why the lovers is here is spirit is telling me right at this moment that the lovers is this person making it seem like you two are made for each other and telling you like with the world reverse that this is not over this is not over sorry guys because this person tends to come back and try to plead to you how much that you two are made for each other and play on your feelings but with the seven of wands spirit is like you need to be guarded when it comes to this person you need to stand your ground because this is them trying to play you again. They're trying to come back with the page of pentacles and just give you a little something. Not much. Just the same that they've always showed up with. Nothing bigger. Okay. This person is a smooth talker with the magician here. They know exactly how to get what they want from you. So that is a warning. This card came out sideways, so I'm going to put it back. Um, show me more advice for Sagittarius, please, before we close out this reading. Show me more advice for Sagittarius in this situation. Size weight cards. I don't read them. If you entertain this person, you're, you're just what you're doing is you're delaying your happiness with the will of fortune in reverse. And you're creating your own pain. Three of swords at the camera. Okay? Because with the Ten of Cups here, you can be happy. There's a victory. You know, six of wands, ten of cups. But it's requiring you to move forward. But if you don't, you're delaying your happiness. And you're just going to create, like I said, more pain. Yep, look at that. You need to get out. You need to get on, move forward, get out, have good times, accept invitations, to, to be around family, friends. I'm hearing celebration. So if there's something you've been invited to recently, Spirit is saying Go. Somehow it's connected to something new, a new beginning with someone new. Okay? Because this person with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this is somebody that continues to leave you out in the cold. 
they, they're not showing their value. Spirit is like, get away from that. All right? So there's going to be something. I feel like the person that you even run into, this person that's that's waiting on you, the right person, for some of you, this is somebody from your past too. This is somebody that you may know from your neighborhood or work or something. Somebody from your community. How will um, Sagittarius recognize this person? Wow, this is somebody that you're going to be manifesting once you decide to move on. The star is here. This could be an Aquarius that you're manifesting. It could be an Aries as well. Okay, show me one more. In order to um, meet this person, you have to be faithful. In other words, you got to be full of faith. You have to be positive. You have to heal. You need to work on be rebuilding the trust and belief that you deserve better. With the, with the four of swords here, it's about you, you know, finding your peace, sitting with your feelings, you know, processing them, releasing them, you know, finding time for you, self-healing, all right? Because with the two of wands, it's just like you're trying to figure it out now. Which, which direction do I go? So this is not nothing new. You have contemplated moving on, especially after this ten of swords. You said you were over this person. Now you're trying to figure out, should I go? Should I stay? You should absolutely go because you can manifest better for yourself. But it is going to require you to have faith. You, you, thoughts become things, right? But there is somebody waiting for you. With the with the emperor reverse, it's not this person. This person is very controlling. This person is is very aloof. Will keep you guessing and just acting like they don't care. Just keep playing this game. They'll come back like they want you. Very domineering, um, and then just become excessively controlling and leave. Do you, we don't want that, right? Emperor reverse. It could be an Aries. Um, it could be any sign, but this person, I, I feel like they didn't have their, their father in their life. I'm getting absentee father. One of the reasons why they're out of control as well. Um, this person might have been raised by some of you, by foster parents, by relatives. But spirit is like, you have to decide what you want so that it comes to you. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card. They're telling me to pull one more. Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse. This person that you need to get away from is going to continue to breadcrumb you. All right? Page of pentacles is somebody that is they, they, their only focus is short term. They're disloyal. They, have a, they live a very unhealthy lifestyle. They're just playing around with you. All right? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages for the universe for you, Sagittarius. All right? This person may come in and tell you about everything that they've been through. They may not, you know, but I'm telling you what they've been through. There's been some trauma in their childhood with whoever raised them. And somebody walked out on them. Somebody else walked out on somebody. And I feel like one parent, I feel like I'm, I'm seeing two adults and somebody leaves. And the other person that's left to raise your, your person, this person, they're bitter. And they take it out on them. Okay, when going through tough times, it is important to remember that nothing up to this point has defeated you. You've overcome challenges before. Be kinder to yourself and be thankful for all that you already have. Yeah, this is not the worst thing that you've been through and you can get through this. You can, you don't need this person. Um, opportunities will soon knock at your door. Debt will be wiped clean and your bills will be paid in full. Your finances are about to change. I feel like this person, for some of you, your, this person owes you money. And, you're, and you want your money and you use that as an excuse because this person took so much from you and didn't give back. They promised to return it and they didn't. And you don't need that though. And everything that you lost is going to be replenished. What's meant to be yours is already making its way to you. What, you. what was never yours is starting to flee from you. With time, it will all make sense. For now, hear the confusion and focus on living fully in the present. Don't let your whole life be. I'll be happy when, be happy now. Okay, so everything happens for a reason. If somebody's running from you, if you're chasing someone, I should say, if you're chasing somebody, that means they're running away. Let them go. Let this person go. Don't be in a position where this person leaves and you're chasing them. Comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame and continues to separate you from your blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. Some of you are staying in this connection because your friends or siblings, somebody that you know close to you, 
is in a relationship where they're doing well and you're like putting up this facade to make it look that you're like your relationship is better than what it is you're telling them things that's not true you're posting pictures on social media to make your relationship look better than what it is and it's spirit is like your time will come you don't have to pretend with this person in your journey there will be times when you feel lost confused lonely and angry these are times of transition you won't feel those emotions forever you are transitioning to a better stronger version of yourself shed away those unneeded layers and keep growing yeah so if it feels painful and confusing you don't stop you keep going you don't turn back because you're thinking, I don't want to deal with these feelings. No, deal with them. Sit with them, process them, and release them. Keep going. Because better is on its way. You are safe. You are protected. The worst is behind you, and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you. Lessons have been learned. It is safe for you to trust your path. Okay? So spirit is like saying, manifest this into your life. All right? Manifesting this. So repeat these words. Because this is what's going to manifest into your life. Thoughts do become things. Again, you are safe. You are protected. The worst is behind you. Visualize this and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you. Lessons have been learned. It is safe for you to trust your path. This is what's going to happen. This is a prediction, guys. All right? You're going to get to this point. See it now. See yourself there now. See yourself feeling safe, protected. You've gone through these challenges. You made it and continue to move forward. You have to move in that energy so that it manifests into your life. All right, so those are the messages that I have for you, Sagittarius, for this reading. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, you may go to Alexander Tarot at um, alexandertarot.com is the website, alexandertarot.com. But shoot me an email after you look at the website and see what you're interested in, shoot me an email at bookalexandertarot at gmail.com. Please do not pay for a reading without actually booking an appointment with me. Bookalexandertarot at gmail.com. Okay? I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.